In the presence of His Excellency Mr. Ayman Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, the ministry organized Ramadan Ghabga included assistant agents, directors of departments, consultants, department heads, and staff members. The Minister of Youth and Sports delivered a speech at the ceremony in which he praised the initiatives offered by the ministry's staff that contributed to the system improvement of youth and sports. He also praised the clear efforts of the staff facilitating and carrying out the work distinctly. So as far as we're concerned, the um, events like this are extremely important to bring the staff together to make sure that they all understand the direction of, of the organization, the ministry, to make sure that they all know the different teams and what each achievement is, they, and also to, to get to know the families. Um, to, as far as we're concerned, this ministry is about youth and sports, about community and culture. So um, events like this are essential, to be honest, uh, to, to bring everyone together and make sure that we're all peddling in the same direction. The Minister of Youth and Sports handed over the prizes to the winning staff in the competitions held, whilst enjoying the family atmosphere. The ceremony was part of the ministry's social activities aimed to enhancing the family spirit. Uh, we are delighted to be here at the annual Qabga of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. Uh, this event is considered one of the most important events, let's say, uh, of the year because it brings together the uh, the whole of the ministry. Uh, so all of us are here together, gathered here in the holy month of Ramadan. Uh, we just want to thank the Minister of Youth and Sports for having this event and uh, we hope to see many more of these events in the near future. مثل ما تعرف أخي العزيز سعادة وزير شؤون الشباب والرياضة أيما بن توفيق المايد شكل لجنة السعادة في وزارة شؤون الشباب والرياضة الهدف من هذه اللجنة هي إطفاء جو من السعادة حق موظفين الوزارة فعالية اليوم هي أول فعالية تقيمها لجنة السعادة بالوزارة للموظفين وهي القبقة الرمضانية الهدف مثل من إقامة مثل هذه الفعاليات يكون هناك جو أسري بين الموظفين يكون هناك تعارف أكثر بين الموظفين سعادة الوزير بيقدم لنا عرض خلال هذه الغبقة يستعرض فيها خطة الوزارة القادمة بالإضافة إلى مجموعة من المسابقات المتميزة وإن شاء الله تستمر مثل هذه الفعاليات حق الموظفين كلمة شكر حق سعادة وزير شؤون الشباب والرياضة على موافقته على إقامة مثل هذه الفعاليات المتميزة حق الموظفين مثل ما تعرف الموظفين يحتاجون إلى مثل هذه الفعاليات تغيير جو الروتين العمل اليومي فإن شاء الله تستمر مثل هذه الفعاليات إن شاء الله كل الشكر وتقدير إلى سعادة الوزير أيمن بن توفيق المؤيد على هذه المبادرة الطيبة بتنظيم الغبقة الرمضانية سنوية لما لها الأثر الطيب لجميع الموظفين وتزايد الأمور الاجتماعية بين الموظفين وزيادة الإنتاجية وتقارب بعضهم بعض بين الموظفين أحب أوجه كلمة شكر طبعا لسعادة الوزير على تفضله ورعايته لهاي القبقة وشكر على ثقته بالنسبة إلى لجنة السعادة متمثلة في أخواني وخواتي الموظفين لما لهم من تنظيم رائع مثل هذه المناسبات مثل ما قلت لكم ما لها الأثر الطيب لجميع الموظفين إن شاء الله هاي المبادرة من ضمن المبادرات إن شاء الله اللي راح تستمر في الوزارة وتحيي الأمور الاجتماعية وتقارب بين الموظفين This evening, the staff of the ministry meet, creating a spirit of love that contributes to enhancing relationships and an atmosphere of fun and interest. Ramadan gathering Ghabga for the Ministry of Youth and Sport Efforts here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. I'm Salim Al Manai, Bahrain International Channel. Members of the Bahrain Society of Engineers met at the Assembly Hall in Al Jafir in the occasion of Ramadan Ghabga Gathering, which is held annually with the aim of consolidating the bonds to one family among its members. 
The evening was attended by the President of Bahrain Society of Engineers, Dr. Dia Abdelaziz Tawfiqi, a number of engineers with their family and friends. The President of the Society stressed the keenness of the association to establish the annual Ghabga, which have witnessed a great turnout of attendance that indicates the positive and family spirit and the importance of this event, which considered one of the main activities of the association. Uh, Rabga, of course, it's, uh, it's a social event. It is uh, organized in Ramadan. We at Bahrain Society of Engineers started doing this uh, since it was established back in 1972 on a yearly basis. We invite all members for this and everybody waits for that moment where it's a good gathering for members to meet each other talk about business, other social matters. We conduct also different types of competitions with good prizes. So it is, it is a nice, rich event and it is an, an annual type which is awaited by, by everyone. During this event, we also we update the members about the latest and the programs and progress of work plan of Bahrain Society of Engineers. Today, we will update them about the various programs, including a program called Heal. This is for basically training the young generation to take the lead in future in Bahrain Society of Engineers, either in the board of directors or uh, the different committees by way of training them. I will be uh, briefing them about the IT project, which will be transforming uh, Bahrain Society of Engineers works and services into a new era, which will be completed in July just two, three months from now. And there are lots of other activities. And what I, whatever I said is only about 20% of our programs. Thank you for Bahrain TV for the usual support, for the coverage. And thanks to all the ministries and different companies and establishments for cooperation and support to Bahrain Society of Engineers. And first but not least, a thanks to, last but not least, thanks to the members of Bahrain Society of Engineers. And we hope that there will be more participation of our members in different committees. Thank you very much. The association has an active role in celebrating Ramadan and in promoting Islamic values through the establishment of such special events. The aim of reviving the habit of Ghabga with engineers is an opportunity to communicate with the members of the society. Society of Engineers, usually they get a gathering of their members and their family in the middle of Ramadan. Uh, during this gathering, we try to make more uh, close to them with announcing some new uh, project or announcement through the board. We would like to uh, thank uh, His Highness the King and uh, the Prime Minister plus uh, the Crown Prince and all the the Bahrain uh, uh, people uh, for this Ramadan Kareem. We wish them all the best and for everyone in the region. There is no doubt uh, as a Bahrain Society of Engineers, one of the professional society, that uh, it has a few gatherings all, all over the year. I mean, there are different gatherings. There are professional gatherings, there are technical, there is, I mean, social gathering. And this event is one of the social gathering that's really very important to gather all the, our colleagues from the Bahrain Society of Engineers, either engineer, as a woman engineer or as an engineer, because it's, it gives sort of a flavor of we continuing together away from the conferences, meetings, and all the uh, technical and professional events. Definitely we'll thank the board, Society of Engineers. Bahrain Society of Engineers has been always re revetting and trying to do new things. And I think now with the new also the president, uh, Dr. Zia Tawfiqi, is also he's adding, uh, trying to put, you know, I mean, every time each president come and he wants to add his own touches. So I think each of the president is giving uh, his own touches and definitely Dr. Dia is giving also his own touches in the different uh, uh, events in the society in general. Either it's technical, professional or even the social events. And of course all the thanks to the, the group of the technical, the social. I mean uh, obviously this night is the social group 
uh, Reem Khalfan that she did all this event as a director of the social group. So we thank her all, we thank all the Bahrain Society of Engineer teams as a members, as a staff, as a board member. This event is an opportunity for communication between the engineers and the consolidation of social relations in order to strengthen the bonds of communication between members and their families. In addition, the cultural heritage witnessed a great interaction of the audience who expressed their admiration to the evening. Muslims worldwide are observing Ramadan, the ninth month in the Islamic calendar, as a month of fasting. During Ramadan, it is important to maintain healthy eating habits. Here, WFP Egypt-based nutritionists Dr. Alia Hafiz, Michelle Dora, and Ayan Barr have shared with us some tips to help you stay fit, healthy, and active during this blessed month. Never skip suhoor. Just as breakfast is the most important meal of the day, suhoor, the meal eaten before dawn, is equally important for us during Ramadan. The pre-dawn meal helps your body stay hydrated and fueled up on energy and nutrients until your next meal at iftar. It also helps you avoid overeating when you break your fast at sunset. A well-balanced meal at suhoor could contain complex carbohydrates, oats, wheat, lentils, grain, and other complex carbohydrates like fava beans. Slow releasing carbs, helping to keep your blood sugar steady and giving you a feeling of fullness for the greater part of the day. High fiber foods. Fiber rich foods are digested slowly and include cereals, dates, figs, bran, whole wheat, grains, seeds, potatoes, vegetables, and almost all fruit, especially apricots and prunes. Bananas are a good source of potassium and other essential nutrients that keep your body hydrated. Protein-rich foods. High-protein foods like eggs, cheese, yogurt, or meat are also recommended as they can help replenish your energy throughout the day. Fruits and vegetables are a great snack between meals and a healthy alternative to pastries and sweets usually consumed during Ramadan. Some fruits and vegetables naturally contain high water content, especially cucumbers, watermelons, melons, squash, and pumpkins. Eating those after fasting hours can help keep you hydrated. Try to cut down on sugary and processed foods. Avoid heavily processed, fast-burning foods that contain refined carbohydrates, such as sugar and white flour, as well as Ramadan desserts. They are high in fat and low in nutrients. Break your fast slowly and don't overindulge. While it is tempting to overindulge at iftar after a day of food deprivation, remember that you should slow down. Start with a few dates and water and then wait before starting your main meal. Dates are a great source of energy for the body, helping it to secrete digestive enzymes in preparation for the upcoming meal. Afterwards, you may get started on some warm soup. Avoid heavy oils and fats in your meal. Make sure you consume plenty of vegetables and a good portion of protein and enough carbohydrates with a little fat. Remember, you should eat slowly and give time for your body to digest the food. Make soups a regular item on your iftar meals. Soups are warm, soothing on the stomach and easy to make. They provide the body with fluids, vitamins, and minerals while offering a great way to incorporate vegetables. Try making soups from colorful vegetables available in season, such as carrots, tomatoes, pumpkins, bell peppers, spinach, zucchini, and eggplants. Remember to limit the amount of salt and oil you use while preparing them. Add flavor with fresh herbs. Stay hydrated. Drink at least 8 to 12 cups of water a day. Drink plenty of fluids for hydration from the period of iftar to the time of suhoor. Beware of consuming sugary drinks. Although juices, milk, and soup are sources of fluids, water is always the best choice. 
so try to consume other drinks in moderation. Avoid caffeinated drinks. Caffeine is a diuretic that stimulates faster water loss, leading to dehydration. It is best to avoid caffeinated drinks such as strong tea, coffee, and colas. If you can't cut them out completely, then drink them in moderation. Avoid deep frying. Try to avoid fried foods or those prepared with large quantities of oil. If frying cannot be avoided, one tip would be to reduce the quantity of oil used. Instead of using one cup of oil, you can cut down the amount to half or quarter of a cup. It is best to avoid frying with animal fat such as ghee. Olive oil is not recommended for frying foods. Implement these simple tips for a healthy and productive Ramadan this year. Thank you.